Hey everyone, it's Kyle and welcome to session two of Two Minute Wine School. We are going to start breaking down the idea of terroir by understanding how soil composition impacts wine grapes. While there's still a lot to be discovered about how soil impacts wine, we're going to take two sessions and break down the ways that we know that it can. In part one, we'll cover the basic building blocks of soil and the ways that they can impact the vines. And in part two, we'll tackle some of the more complex soil types like limestone, colluvium, and volcanic. At its most simplified, soil is a mixture of different sized particles. Gravel, sand, silt, and clay are all references to particles of a certain size. Clay, for example, is made up of particles that are smaller than 0 0.002 millimeters in diameter. Anything between 0 0.002 and 0 0.006 is silt. Anything between 0 0.006 and 0 0.02 is sand. And anything larger is gravel. And together, these make up the soil's texture. In general, the smaller the particle size, the better the water retention and nutrient availability because there's much more surface area for the nutrients to bind to in the soil. And this can also lead to cooler soils because the presence of water helps to resist changes in temperature. As particle size increases, water drains more freely and there's less nutrients available to the vine. This also allows soil to warm up with the heat of the day. So in the case of sand, that heat dissipates as the sun goes down, but with gravel, that heat is stored and released throughout the night. To flourish, a grapevine needs just the right amount of heat, water, sunlight, nutrients, and CO2. And with the exception of CO2, soil composition can impact all of these elements. So depending on the climate of a certain region, the soil can bring certain climatic elements into balance. In Bordeaux's left bank, for example, the gravel-rich soils of Pauillac provide the warm, dry soil needed to ripen Cabernet Sauvignon. And where Merlot would ripen too quickly in Poyac, the clay-rich soils of Santa Estef to the north provide the cooler conditions that are necessary to prolong the growing season. But what about the Kimmeridgian soils of Chablis? What about Marl? What about Slate? We will get into those in our next session tomorrow, so stick with us and we'll see you then.